Mr. Trump is notoriously sensitive to snubs and might have expected an invite. But Royal Household Source has said there is no reason why he would be invited. Potential snub is second setback for Mr. Trump following cancellation of UK visit. UK officials privately expressed hopes President could come to Britain this year. Donald Trump faces the embarrassment of not being invited to the royal wedding, insiders said last night. The US president is notoriously sensitive to snubs and might have expected to be asked to attend Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's big day. But a royal household source pointedly said, although the guest list hasn't yet been announced, there is no reason he would be invited. The potential snub is a second setback to Mr. Trump following the cancellation of her planned visit to Britain next month. In other US-UK developments last night, UK officials privately expressed their hope that the president could come to Britain at some point this year. Ministers are examining the idea of him visiting Scotland instead. The president's claim that the lease on the old embassy in Mayfair had been sold for peanuts was supported by documents showing the US received nearly £200 million less than thought. Mr Trump said he had called off the London trip because he disagreed with the decision to sell off the old embassy cheap. But observers suggest that he did not want to run the gauntlet of protests. London Mayor Sadiq Khan was among those on the left who commented yesterday, saying it was clear that Mr Trump had got the message that many Londoners did not want him here. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn has also said he should not be invited. Boris Johnson took aim at both men last night, accusing them of putting Britain's relationship with America at risk. He labelled Mr Connor puffed up, pompous Papa J. Downing Street appeared to back his stance, with a source saying, we agree that any risk to the crucial US-UK relationship is not in our country's best interests. The row over the visit, which sparked headlines around the world yesterday, threatens a new crisis in Britain's relations with the Trump administration. There is now no date for a visit by the president, who has been in office for a year. Royal household sources made clear that Prince Harry's nuptials were not a state occasion and would be, by royal standards at least, a more low-key, family affair than the wedding of his parents or brother. Although the wedding is being attended by the Queen, it isn't an official, state occasion. It is a family event, the source said. Unless the President was a close personal friend, which he is not, there would be no protocol, no reason for him to be invited. Harry and Meghan have made clear that this is very much an occasion and a celebration for their close family and friends. Downing Street said it was a matter for the royal household. Previous royal weddings of those low down the succession list have not been attended by US presidents. Richard Nixon was not present at the November 1973 wedding of Princess Anne to Captain Mark Phillips. Ronald Reagan was not present at the July 1986 wedding of Prince Andrew to Sarah Ferguson. And Bill Clinton was not at the June 1997 wedding of Prince Edward to Sophie Rise Jones. But it does leave open the question as to whether Barack Obama, who was interviewed by Prince Harry for broadcast on Radio 4 only last month, is likely to be asked. And if he does turn up, we could send him to Scotland. Harry now counts him as a close personal friend and his instinct would certainly be to do so. Michael Wolff, the US journalist behind a controversial book on Mr Trump, warned earlier this week that he doesn't like being snubbed. 
the Mail yesterday that Mr Trump had scrapped his plan to make his first visit to UK as president next month to open the new one billion US pounds embassy in Nine Elms, south of the Thames. So, 